Hello everyone. Welcome back to the .NET office. In this video, we are going to discuss about the Angular 15. We will see what all are the new features added into the Angular 15. So let's discuss about the Angular 15 and the new feature which is added into the Angular 15. So after the releasing Angular 14 this year, now Angular 15 is also released in November 2022. It has the couple of the new feature included uh, in this and apart from that there are the performance improvement as well so let's discuss about the new features of the angular 15 so here you can see a couple of the list of the angular 15 new features which has like the standalone um, component api it has the like ability to track our error like for an example if we are facing any issue or we are getting any error in the angular we can trace it easily it has the improvement into the image directive and even it has improved with respect to the es build support so there are the so many features which is added so we are going to discuss all these topic one by one so let's start from the stable stand alone component so now in the angular 14 we have seen like the standalone api introduced and why we use these standalone APIs to it is used to create angular application without using the ng module in angular 15 now these standalone api are stable with the help of the couple of the observation done and the angular team made it stable now in angular 15 like using these standalone component we can work in sync with the HTTP client, routers, Angular elements, and many more. Now, in this, uh, like uh, since it become very stable, so standalone API allow us to bootstrap an application in a single component. And how we can do that? Now, from the platform browser, we can directly import the bootstrap application. And directly, like here, you can see bootstrap application. We can directly making over the component now using the import function we can also like uh, what we can do we can reference standalone directive and the pipes uh, we can now mark component pipe and directive as standalone true that you can see from here so that is the uh, like uh, improvement or the new features added with respect to the standalone component now if we go on the next that is the standalone apis to create a multi route application now like basically in the angular 15 this feature help us to build the multi-route application using the new router standalone api in angular 15 as the build time like when we uh, build our application bundles can remove unused feature from the router that reduce around 11 percent of the core bundle size so that is the new thing which is implemented with respect to the angular 15 another that is basically uh, directive composition api and basically this feature is implemented like a uh, lot of the discussion or the basically uh, suggested by the uh, like developers and that you can if you want to track you can track it from here like near ability to add directive to host element in component declaration so basically this new feature is added with uh, in the angular 15 so this link you can see in my description section as well so let's go to the ppt back so what is this directive composition api so basically it help us majorly in the code reusability and how it help in the code reusability so you know the it is basically saying directive so like we have the directive called inputs and output generally we use it so it also allow developer to increase host element with the directive and build the angular application with the help of the code reusability and how it is possible it is possible using the angular compiler so the purpose of this is basically for the code reusability and the like basically the directive composition api only work with the stand alone directive so how basically like uh, in the component we declare all the directive so this is the way like uh, this new directive composition api feature is implemented 
Now next is basically image directive. And what is that? That is the NG optimized image is now stable. So basically this was introduced in the version 14, which help us to easily adapt for loading image performance. But now in Angular 15, it is stable and it is basically worked by the land and work with this feature and introduce around 75% improvement in LCP means largest contentful paint. So like basically it um, like this uh, image directive is now stable and with the performance improvement. So now here you can see it has the two features called automatic and SRC set generation and another is the fill mode and what is that? So automatic SRC set generation, this is directive, automatically generate the SRC set which help us to upload an appropriately sized image wherever requested. This reduce the download time of an image. So it help in that way. Fill mode is basically it is an experimental. This mode remove the need for declaring image dimensions and fill the image to its parent container. This mode is useful when we don't know the image dimensions and we need to migrate the CSS background image to make use of this directive. So that is use of these two new features basically added into the ng optimized image. With the use of ng optimized image directive, we can directly use ng optimized image directive in an angular component or ng module. So here you can see like in the component directly we are making it as a standalone and we are importing ng optimized image. So this is the new thing which is added in the angular 15. And next is functional route router guards and with the help of three shakeable standalone router API we can work on reducing the boiler point in the guard. So basically what uh, it do with using the refactoring the code we can reduce the bundle size of the angular and now with the new functional route guard we can refactor the code. So the, the new route guard which is added will help us to refactor the code. So that is the use of the functional route guard. So, so if we talk about next better step traces. So in angular 50 now we can easily trace the code. It help us when we face any error, so using the stack trace, we can find the place where the error is coming. So Angular 15, this new feature is added. Another is the, the router unwrap default import. So to make router simpler and reduce the boiler um, plate further, the router now auto unwrap default export when lazy loading. So for an example, when we are using the uh, lazy loading, so it help us to make like uh, to reduce the code further. Next is the stable MDC based component. So now if we talk about this, so previously it was hard to refractor, reflector component based uh, angular material, but now it is possible by using the MDC that is the material design component for web. In angular 15, majorly the refactoring work has been done in the DOM and the CSS part. And based on that, like it is the improved. So now in Angular 15, the old implementation of new um, component is now deprecated. But if we still we want to use that, we can do using the legacy import. Apart from that, there are the more improvements done in the component side. So like for an example, like range selector support in the slider. Now for an example, if we are using the slider material, so in that also like uh, basically like in the sli uh, slider material we use the range so there also a couple of the improvement is done. So these are the uh, like new enhancement done with respect to the component. If we talk about the CDK list, so CDK stand for component dev kit give different behavior primitive and help us in creating UI component. In Angular 15, a new primitive called CDK list box was added, which helped developer to customize list box interaction draw up via the Y area list box pattern based on the requirement. So basically like it help us 
in that way now for an example if i have selected any like in the we are having the list box in the list box if i am selecting any uh, like value then it highlight based on that one so that is the enhancement done another is the extended es build support so in angular 14 having support of es build in ng build which enable faster build time and simplify the pipeline now in angular 15 um, like this is done with the set as svg template file replacement and now ng build double dash watch support we can see it if you want to update the es build in angular json then you can use this like from this command to the this command so these are the couple of the features which is added into the angular 14 like it's basically improved in every like whatever is not stable in the angular 15 so they try to make every uh, like component of the api stable in this version and apart from that they have improved couple of the performance issues and they have even observed the like uh, what developers are thinking and what they are expecting more with respect to we have seen in the directive so they have implemented those features in this as well so that's it for this video if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you